Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with another uh, video tutorial here for you and this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I tried to make it short. This is the Apex Legends Season 9 Legacy uh, badge design and I, I like to recreate this with you guys and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques I normally use. So let's do this. I have my reference up here in the corner. I couldn't really find a better uh, picture of it but it, it will do. So I'll just move this to the side and uh, just copy it to the other side and then just um, remove all the settings. What we got here, as you can see, it's just basically a base shape and then the badge and then a pattern. That's all we need. So I'm just going to clear layer style. Here we are. And so I started off with the base color, uh, and this is 3FO559. Uh, color is a bit off, but it'll, it'll do. It's close enough. So all you have to do, just go to the FX blend options and start building up a shape. So um, what I like to do, we got the base layer, we got the base color, we can apply the pattern I already created. Um, um, I'm just going to provide it for you so you can just use it. Uh, it's a little bit of trial and error uh, to create these patterns. You know, it takes a little while until you get uh, get it right. Um, and once that's done, we can go to stroke. Stroke is basically what I try to use. Uh, uh, basically, it's a gradient feel. So you'll have a lighter uh, purple on the top and a bit darker on the bottom. And... Uh, these are the, the hex codes I used, A70FEF to the top, and then the bottom is 7AOCAE. So once that's done, that's basically just the outside. We'll have another one, which is the inside, and that's an orange color. I use F4AB2O. There we go, and that's... Um, Let's see, it's 52 pixel. I mean, these are quite big shapes, that's why it's quite large. Um, so once that's done, I was thinking to use a little bit of uh, darkening, like a vignette effect here on the corners. And for that, I was using inner glow. So as you can see, like uh, you can play with it how strong you want it. I think it's somewhere on 120 is fine. And then what we need in the middle, it's kind of a glow. So a gradient overlay and this set to radial style and then the color is 9BOCA7. So once that's done, you can see it's just one layer, but we basically created the base of the, the badge. Uh, I also applied a drop shadow. It's just a sort of 25% and uh, quite fa a fairly big size, 50%, over 50%, and the distance is uh, almost 30 pixel. So once that's done, we'll just basically add uh, our badge. I um, applied a little bit of color as a color wave overlay here, and that's F-O-E-A-E-D. And uh, also just a drop shadow, a very soft drop shadow. Uh, distance 4 pixel, size 12 pixel and as you can see it looks really nice uh, I also added a little bit of bevel here to the corner because I think it looks nice uh, I don't think we have it on the original but uh, I think that's it's actually quite good so it's just basically an inner bevel set to 150 per, uh, percent depth and the size is 4 and then you can use angle and attitude 90 and 30 degrees, 75% uh, color dodge white, and uh, shadow mode multiply 40% black. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, I tried to make it quick. So this is just something simple. I wanted to show you how I would build this up. And let me know if you like these kind of contents and we can do and create other kind of UI stuff and elements and stuff like that. So um, if you like it, hit the like button. So that helps me to get this content to, to, to front of more people. And I really appreciate that. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.